Hello, I'm Debbie from Mums Make Money and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it can be to use an HTML table in order to set up pages on your website that have groups of images. This one for example is on Mums Make Money and it's the big blog Linky Party directory and it has the buttons of Linky Parties that I subscribe to during the week and as you can see they're all neatly lined up some are different shapes and sizes to others but they all line up in rows across and in columns going down and we can do this for uh, something like this with the linky party directory but also if you have like a project page on your site where you link back to previous projects that you've completed or even just a, a photo gallery so I'll show you how to do that next and we'll set up a table in HTML so this is the post now that I'm working on on Mums Make Money and this is the actual post itself about how we're going to line up images with the table. So if you click over from the video, if you're watching in YouTube, you can click over to the post and find the details of the HTML code just here that we're going to need. Now I've decided I would like to put in a table just in here which is going to have clicks through to some other posts on my site. So we'll set that up now in WordPress. So here is my draft post. I'm in the visual editor and I've decided that I would like to put my table in here. I'm going to have a table of two rows and each row will have three boxes. So when we switch over to the text viewer, sometimes it's kind of hard if you've got a lot of things already written to find out where you are on the page. So I am just going to type in here, put table here. And then when I go over to my text editor, that should be easier to find. Okay, put table here. So let me just give myself some space to work in. And the first thing we need to do is tell um, HTML that we want to set up a table. So we just use the little triangle open bracket just here, type table and close it. Okay, so now it knows that we're forming a table. Now we need to tell it that we want a row. So we do the little open bracket again, TR, and close, and that tells it to start a new row. And then we need one for table data. So again, triangle, TD, and close your triangle. And um, a table data is the holder within the table itself, which is going to hold our information. And every time we have an open tag, we need to close it. So I'm going to do the triangle again, slash to close, TD, and closed. So that is our first set of table data. Now I want to have three items per row. So I'm just going to copy this. Copy, and now I'll paste it two more times. So now I've got three items in my first row. So I'll tell it that's it. I want to close the row. So table row is closed. But I want two rows. So exactly the same. I'm actually going to copy where it says table row down to the end of the row. Copy, paste it underneath. So now my table comprises of two rows, open and closed, open and closed. And each one has three sets of data. That's my table completed, so I'm going to slash close my table. Okay, so that's the basis of our table set up. And now we need to add in some data to it. Still working within our text editor, now I'm going to add in some images. So where I have the open and close in table data tags, I'm just going to click in the middle of the two tags and we'll add media. And I'm going to use this little table just to link to some other posts. So let's have a look. What have we got? Let's pick this one about Pinterest. And as we go over here, I'm going to select that I want it centered. No link and thumbnail is fine. We'll set them all as thumbnails. So now I insert that into post. I click again between the two table data tags. Add another media item. Let's pick that one. Again, centered, no link, and thumbnail. And again here, same again, add another media item. So that's my first row completed. I'm now going to just quickly add in three more. 
So that's the basis of my table now completed. So I'm going to just take out where I have my note about leave the table. And we've got this great big block of HTML here. But if we click back to the visual editor, then suddenly we've got a much, much neater view. And this is now my table with the three items across and my two rows. So if you just wanted a photo gallery, um, a gallery of your projects, for example, without any links, then that's all you need to do. You're completed. But if you want to make any of these images into clickable links, it's now easy to do as well. So this one for Pinterest, I just click on the image and highlight it. Click on Add a link. And it's one of my most recent ones. There we go. Schedule pins for free. Add link. And that's done. This one here. I can add a link. I know this one was about blurb. Pay for Christmas with blurb. There we go. This one here. Add a link. This one was about craftsy. There we go. And exactly the same. I'm just going to do the same now at the bottom to add links for those. So those are all now completed. So if I save my draft and then we'll preview the post and see what it looks like. There we go. So there are our six items here and they're all clickable. So if I open it in a new tab, it'll take me over to the post that I want people to look at. So it's a great way if you want to set up a linky party table that you can do it like that. You can just copy the button code and paste that in between the two table data markers. If you want to create um, a list of projects or posts like I've got here, then you can make all of these clickable. It'll look all nice and neat within your page or post and it can take people out to the places that you want them to have a look at. You can also complete something like it if you wanted to for your sidebar and instead of putting the table code into a post, you just set up a new widget and then you set something up on your sidebar for popular posts or whatever you wanted to, for example. Okay, easy as that. Thank you very much for watching.